Welcome back everybody. Today I got a good one. Uh, it's a 2022 new build, uh, just finished. The gas meter is actually not even installed, so we will have to come back to this one for the client. This one came from a viewer, so thank you for watching the YouTube channel and thank you for trusting us to inspect your property. So let's see what we're gonna go find and let's go check it out. Most of our problems are on the exterior of the home and we're gonna start off with this one. I noticed this as I was driving up you can see how uh, the balcony is crooked and it's sloped away. The balcony patio cover here, balcony, <laughs> the patio cover. Yeah, the patio cover is sloped away right here. So what I'll actually do is not ideal, but I'll climb out this window and get my zip level and just to prove that it is sloped, zero it out on this edge of the balcony and then come over here, balcony patio, the patio cover and zero, uh, figure out how much of a slope it is. There you go, that I messed up all the talking, but yes, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. You'll get it. Next find is right here, uh, wrong type of fasteners on the metal siding. This is exact. This is the type of fastener it should be. Then they installed a fast, uh, the wrong type of fastener here and here. With the wrong type of fasteners, it could allow water to shed inside the structure. Pretty common find, uh, just some damage. Fiber cement board we just recommended to repair and replace. It might be kind of hard to see in the video, so I'm gonna zoom in and use my laser pointer. But so right here, you can see they are missing uh, the trim board here. So whenever you're inspecting, make sure that you're inspecting up close, you know, in the gate, and then do a wide pass too, because missing trim boards and stuff is actually something that can easily uh, be missed when inspecting. Before we move on to the next item that we find, can you please take the time to hit that like button and the subscribe button that helps grow the YouTube channel and shows that I am kind of doing something right. All right, let's move on to the next item. Here's some pretty good finds on the exterior. So whenever you have a, a floor transition with fiber cement boards, you need a, um, a flashing transition here. And you can see that this flashing transition has been damaged when the gutter was installed and there's a negative slope towards the property. So this can initiate a water leak in this location. And then also right, right around the corner here, you can see uh, this transition, the flashing's not installed properly. And what will happen is, is it, allow, it could allow water to enter the property through these little creases. So I'm gonna recommend for repair in both these areas. Another little find here, we put it in the report, it is cosmetic, but you can see the light is not properly installed. It's just, not identical to the other one. Uh, minor fine, but still something worth reporting on. Another annoyance that we're running into a lot with new builds is the gas meter is not installed. So we can't inspect, you know, any of the hot water, the oven, the furnace. We can't do that today, but we can accomplish a majority of the other items, all the structural, electrical, cosmetic damage that we can report on on new builds. And it kind of works out to their advantage because typically they can get the builder to pay for the reinspection or to come out and test the gas. So what I always tell them to do is wait to the very end to where they fix everything and we don't just inspect the gas. We'll go through the checklist of everything we found the first go around to make sure that they brought the property up to par or their standards of what we found. So they say they fixed everything. That was a little rumbly, but you get what I'm saying. Just, just wait, just wait and uh, have everything fixed before we come back out to inspect the gas. Here's a unique find. Uh, the, the drain is clogged in the laundry room. We, Josh caught this, he just popped off the drain and you can see in there that it's, it's holding water. So uh, there shouldn't be really a P-trap in the, uh, the drain line here because it needs to flow out naturally. And this isn't connected to the sewer or anything. It just connects to outside. So uh, there's probably a clog in your laundry drain line and it just needs to be blown out or snaked. Other minor finds, as you can see, the, uh, the exhaust fan is pulled loose a little bit. Right up items, you know, surface damage on tubs. We had a, a light that wasn't working properly. And then we write up cosmetic damage uh, in, on the sheetrock. You can see the sheetrock doesn't look very clean in these areas. So we'll write up these items too as well. We write up window seals that are not finished uh, being painted. The texture's a little off and uh, the slope is a little off. There's not much they can really do for that cosmetically all the time. They might have to re-sheetrock this location if you want it perfectly straight, 
but we just put it in the report to help better inform our clients of what they're purchasing. We changed the cooling as soon as we got here, you know, down all the way down to 60 and uh, the, the temperature is only reading a nine in the property and it doesn't seem like the dampers are working properly for the kitchen and the upstairs. This is actually a very common find for new builds. One thing that we look for all the time is felt under, over the drip edge. In this case, it's installed under the drip edge. Are they going to fix it? No. Are we going to report on it? Yes, but it is something that we have to report on. One thing that we find often is the drain line for the drain pan for the coils in the attic space running in an upward slope. You want this to be running in a downward slope because it uses gravity to drain. And if it's installed improperly, it can cause water damage to your property. Okay, so that is it. It's a 2022 new build. Very quick video here, but it just shows you the importance of why you should get these things inspected. You know, a lot of these items are easily overlooked and it's always good to get a, a third set of eyes when looking at a property like this. So that's uh, Chris with Day Action. Please hit that like and subscribe button and catch us on the next one. See you guys. Thanks. Bye.